Like, I got a song mm-hmm. with Pablo Juan. He went in the studio. He did a verse. He just saying random shit that rhyme in a sentence. You know, like, the end bars might be hard. Or like, the first bar might be hard. He just saying random shit. It sounds crazy. And then um, at the end of the shit, he'll go, he'll go back in and be like, all right, delete this. And he'll replace the stupid word with, like, a real word, you know? Some- yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. We always like to go back. When you were younger, when you were a kid, you know, growing up in Arlington, did you have any siblings? Were you raised with your mom and dad? Stuff like that. Um, I got two grown brothers. They fully white. We got the same mama, but like they fully white. That's yeah, dope. But them, them my niggas. So your mama white. Yeah, and your my daddy mama black. white. My daddy black. Okay. Hunbrook mama white. <laughs> so you Damn. know I can rap. The fuck. <laughs> 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 nah, um, nah, so did I just turn? Oh, I thought I turned my shit off. But, um, brothers, I got two brothers. They grown 37, 35. Um, so, on your daddy's side, you don't have any? I'm his only child. Wow. Um, I grew up with both my parents. We never, like, lived together, like, for real, for real. But it's always been love. Like, we all cool. They not together now. They got their own shit going on. But my mom can come stay with us when she in town, if she needs to, you know, like, mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck going on. Oh, you Absolutely. still stay with your dad? He stay with me. Oh, he moved with you. Yeah. You look out for him. Yeah. That's I hope cool. my you hear that boy? <laughs> Hell, I hope somebody look out for me finna if I ever need. Finna go big house, all that shit. Already. You so know? you have a close relationship with your dad then? That's my best friend, like That's good. He finna control all my shit. That's so, dope, man. Yeah. That's dope because you trust him. Yeah, he just finna like I've been teaching him shit like here and there and doing all this and just little shit because he went to college, got... Oh, you telling me that your dad is going to help you deal with your estate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, like, I, I mean, I don't... Beyonce tried that. Be careful. You, nah. <laughs> nah. See, that's the thing. Like, my, my dad, he, he done taught me some shit that's... I don't know. but You trust him. What's the most important thing that he's taught you? Shit. I don't even know. It's so much shit. I'm talking about be you, keep hustling, shit. Never let people know, like, when you just fucked up, you know? Yeah. That's what they pray for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that, man. I when, love to see that. When did you realize you, you had the talent to rap? Okay, well, with that being said, like, in elementary school, I've always had a sense for, like, music and shit, but I didn't want to do choir. I couldn't sing. Didn't want to do band because I didn't want to play one of them instruments. Like, I'm like, shit, but what can I do? Like, rapping ain't real. I ain't Jay-Z. Like, you know, like, I ain't Beyonce. I ain't, you know, I ain't Fergie. Like, you know, like, I ain't. I'm thinking I'm watching these people on TV when they songs come on in the morning. I'm like, that can't be me. They already famous, you know, like. So, um, my brother was a rapper. Like when okay. I was a kid. His the name was A one. His name was A one. Yes, and he could actually rap. He was in like, Arlington? Yeah. A one. I'm trying to think back. Like this nigga probably went hard. And yeah, he said they're older than you. How much older are he they? He said thirty seven. I think she yeah, said like, one was thirty seven. Uh, that's like 10 like 15, years. 15, yeah. 15, 15 okay. and 13. Yeah. Okay. 15 years apart and 13 years apart. I'm 23. Mm-hmm. I just turned 23. I know. You're the baby baby. But yeah, you know, I'm still figuring shit out. You know, I'm blessed though. Highly blessed, yes. highly favored. Um, what was I saying? So oh, yeah, he, he raps. raps. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, well, he can go to a studio and find a microphone. So, like, as I get older, I'm like, I guess it's possible, you know? Like, then I start seeing people who rapping and shit. So, my 18th birthday, we were just playing. I turned on some Detroit. I said Detroit. <laughs> oh, my. Detroit um, style type beats. And um, I'm just rapping, freestyling. Just doing whatever, doing whatever. I'm like, shit, what if I did this for real? Yeah. I grabbed a notebook. I got a whole, I still got it to this day. The same notebook. Just, I don't write no more, but like at that time, that's all I could do. I didn't have a studio. So I was mm-hmm. just like, well, if I write songs, like something, you know, like I'm going to find a studio. I'm going to find a microphone. Boom. Started writing all that shit. Then find, found a studio. Started recording, recording my first song. And niggas was like, you got to keep going. You can be a star. I'm like, I, I know, but like, I don't know. You know? Nah, you dope, man. Then, oh, I know, I know now, but like, now it, it, it took time know, to build that confidence. Yeah, the like, first time, because normally a lot of people always say the first time they hear themselves after it's mixed and mastered. I was in the, stu- I was in the studio like this, scared of rap, my voice was just cracking. <laughs> I was, in, I was like, <laughs> they were like, just relax. I'm like, all right. Whew, whew. And then like I did a little bit, but you can still hear like in my voice like I was scared, you know, and then 
when people were in the studio, I was scared to rap. I don't know why I was just scared to do me. And then they had to come to a point where I was like, nigga, they fuck with me. They're here because of me. Like, why am I caring what y'all, what, what I sound like? I done mm. been around in the studio, bro. One person I was in the studio with was Lil Key. Rest in peace to him. But like his songs go crazy, you know? But when he's recording and you're, sound, you're listening, like you wonder what this finna sound like. You know, like it's like, but me at the time, I was like, it gotta sound perfect when I'm recording the mic because they're listening to me, you know. But, I, but I it, you didn't know that it yeah, doesn't have to at that time. At, yeah, at that time I didn't until like I got around people and I was like, okay, this just rap. Like I got a song mm -hmm. with Pablo Juan. He went in the studio. He did a verse. He just saying random shit that rhyme in a sentence. You know, like the end bars might be harder. Like the first bar might be hard. He just saying random shit. It sounds crazy. And then um, at the end of the shit, he'll go he'll go back in and be like. All right, delete this, and he'll replace the stupid word with like a real word, you know? Somebody else, I know that they came you know? on and that's what they do. So I was like, just seeing people do different theories and shit, I'm like, shit ain't gonna be perfect when you're saying it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta yeah. find your own rhythm, man. You gotta find what works for you. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so after, so when, how old were you when you when you would say that you found your confidence? Um, how long did it take you? Like, ooh, my voice cracked. Like complete confidence, 22 yeah. last year. What made you find your confidence so late? Uh, like, you know, I've always known I'm that bitch. Like, right. I've always known that but shit. But in rap. But, no, nah, oh, rap, I knew I, I knew for sure I, I had that shit in like 2018. Like, okay. I knew that for sure I know that shit now just because it's a lot of shit that I done influence. Mm -hmm. Regardless if people see it or not, I see it. And a lot, I, people see it. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.